Hey folks, it's John P. with GeekBeat, and while it may not be techy, it sure is awesome. This is the Flowmaster 65-foot self-winding hose. All right, guys, I know that we don't usually bring these kinds of things to you, but hey, it's geeky, okay? It's really awesome. I'm going to show you why, and you're going to want one of these. This is a self-winding hose made by Flowmaster. Now, I don't know about you, but I get sick of having to rewind the hose, and I've tried every other kind of little mechanism where you, like, crank a handle, or some of them use water pressure. They all suck, no matter what you do. Everything sucked until I got this. This is awesome. So this is a 65 foot long hose contained in a self-winding uh, box here. You'll notice also that I have it mounted on the wall. This is one of the most important features, but I'm gonna talk about that in just a minute. So it's got a cable, uh, you know, I mean a hose that just comes down and plugs into our water supply. And this thing just pulls out as far as you wanna pull it. And when you stop, it stops. So that's the good part. Now, when you want it to go back up, Dave, go stand over there. I want you to watch the little mechanism. Okay, all I'm gonna do first on this end, check this out, I'm just gonna pull it a little bit and then start letting it go back. But I want you to watch as that mechanism moves to the side so that it's always winding nice evenly okay nice. it does watch it when i pull it out it's going to do it it doesn't matter how far i pull it out how awesome is that and look how evenly the 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 cape the, no the hose is in there no tangles no nothing now it just so happens that this thing also comes with a really nice free head. Now I thought I was going to throw this thing away because I've got plenty of good heads, but this one is really nice. It's got several different modes. There's the shower mode. To turn it on and off, you just use this thumb button. You know, this little, there you go. So we've got shower, we've got center spray, flat, which creates kind of a, you know, fan, soaker, for the bushes, mist, which Dave is probably wishing he had on him right now because it's 100 degrees out here, jet, look at that. I mean, that is really, that's a long way, okay? And then triangle, cone, it's got a lot of different modes, okay? And it works really, really well. One little tip, by the way, always, always, when you're, when you're done with your hose, turn off the water down here and let the pressure out because with heat, it can swell up in this thing and make it pop, and you don't want to do that. These little bad boys cost about a hundred bucks. You can get it at Home Depot or Amazon. We'll have the links in the show notes. And one thing that you need to know about how it's mounted, there's a little pin right here that we can actually pull out, this silver pin, pull, pull up on this, this comes right out, so this piece can be removed. You can walk away with it. Now the way this piece mounts to the wall, it uses these big bolts, these big heavy duty lag bolts, okay? And you'll notice I did not want to drill into my brick. So I was able, I was very fortunate that I was able to drill into just the mortar between the brick in both cases. It just happens to be the right distance for me that it wasn't drilling into the brick. What you're gonna need, you're gonna need a half inch hammer drill bit. And you need a big ass drill. And you're gonna just drill right into it. The, in order to put this piece the receiver, yeah. into the wall, this little sleeve and this pin, it has to go into the wall. So you want it mostly to about where it's right there. So you're gonna drill maybe a couple inches, slip that into the wall. Now once that's in the wall, you'll notice right here, the bolt sticks out. It sticks out, you put this green piece over it, and you screw those 
uh, nuts right down on the bolt, and that's it. It is as secure as it could possibly be. If, however, you don't want to do it in brick, you can do it in wood. You could always do it on a fence or just mount a wood post right here and screw right through those same holes. Maybe use a little washer so it doesn't come loose and you're good. So you guys, I can't recommend it any higher. Go get you one of these things. Save yourself all that hassle and get out of the summer heat for God's sakes. See you later, guys.